Hi everyone, welcome to the Ever Seeking Empath. I'm a reader who uses tarot, oracle, and charms, and today we're also using the actions story cubes. And today's reading is how can you find your motivation? So how can you get motivated to achieve your goals? I figured since it's January, a lot of people have kind of New Year's resolutions going, and I figured this would be kind of a good reading to get us get the year started with some extra like boosts of motivation and that way you can kind of really get moving on whatever goals you're setting for yourself this year. And because coffee is one of the things that motivates me, it's kind of a coffee theme. So I've got four piles with the coffee spoons with different little phrases on them. And then I also have the coffee is my spirit animal mug here. And yes, it's ginormous. So yeah. So before we get started, I do want to remind everyone that this is a general reading, so it might not resonate for everyone, so that's fine. Just take what messages resonate for your situation and disregard the rest. Also, if you enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you can see when I've posted new content. And thank you so much to those of you who have already subscribed. I just hit 50 subscribers, so thank you, thank you, thank you for that. So yeah, we have four piles here today. So pile one is this spoon and it says perk up. Pile two is this one and it says not your average Joe. Pile three is this spoon and it says rise and grind. And pile four is this spoon and it says whole latte love. So just take a deep breath, let your intuition guide you to a pile or to a spoon or to a phrase. I'm going to put timestamps in the description and in the comments below, and we're going to get started now with pile number one. Hi, group one. So if you chose Perk Up, then this is your rating. So we're going to start with your tarot and oracle, and then do your dice, and then your charms at the end. So let's figure out how you can get motivated to achieve your goals. For your tarot, you have Six of Pentacles, Success. Seven of Cups, Debauch, and Four of Cups, Luxury. So I feel like you're definitely going to get back whatever you put into this situation, so just keep that in mind. With that Six of Pentacles, that's about kind of an equal give and take, so I think you just need to keep in mind that whatever you put in, that's what you'll get the results for. So I feel like many of you right now might not be putting in much energy into this, and that's because I have the Four of Cups here. So that's often about being kind of apathetic and bored or not seeing an opportunity right in front of you. But this particular one says luxury. So I wonder if some of you too um, have the luxury of not doing anything about this situation right now that you're not being forced into it. So um, maybe you have another job and you're just kind of toying with the idea of starting your own business or embarking on something more creative, something like that. Um, but something that you're more passionate about, but that maybe you feel like isn't what most people would want you to do because the Seven of Cups is debauch. So I feel like maybe this is something that you've dreamt about for a long time, but you feel like it's not the stable option. It's not the secure option. It's not something that is like the most mature way to do things or something or that that's what other people think. And so you've just been kind of dreaming about it, but without putting that effort in. So I think really the first thing is just you have to put the effort in, but maybe you have to figure out if you really want this to start. For your oracle cards, you have Feather, Think First Before You Judge, number 26. So I feel like, yeah, many of you are probably kind of prejudging yourselves for maybe wanting to do this or you're thinking that you can't possibly do this. You don't have what it takes within you. And I think this is saying, you know, think about it. Maybe look through the actual pros and cons. Look at maybe other people who have achieved it and look at what their skills are. And maybe they started with fewer skills than you have. And you're maybe even more qualified for this situation than you initially thought. So just keep that in mind. You know, think it through. Don't just kind of prejudge based on what you expect, you know, based on what other people think or based on kind of insecurities. You have Moth Spirit, Surrender Now, number 39. So this is just saying to not kind of hang on to those insecurities, you know, surrender that, maybe even be more open to opportunities coming your way because that's kind of what I get with that Four of Cups as well because we've got like the moon here has this little cup kind of floating over her. So I feel like if you just surrender and kind of 
look around, you know, be a little more mindful and look at your surroundings, you might see an opportunity there that you hadn't seen before. You have pig spirit, use your mind wisely, number 47. So that goes very well with this think first before you judge. And with this, I feel like it's saying, you know, the world is your oyster. You can do anything that you want to, but make sure that you're using your mind to empower yourself and not to feed your insecurities. Because I feel like this pig has wings. So it's saying you can really do anything, but I think many of you tend to be overthinkers, but you overthink on the negative side of things. So you tend to feed your insecurities rather than motivating yourself or allowing yourself to believe in yourself. You have freedom. So yeah, I think you might be standing there in the cage even though the door is wide open or maybe you just need to turn around and see that you have the key right there because she's in this cage but the key is like being handed to her right here and she's kind of skeptical about whether she should take it or not. So I feel like you probably have an option right there or an opportunity that you've been wanting and maybe you're not uh, you're either not seeing it or you just feel like maybe you're not ready you don't feel good enough yet so this is saying free yourself you know you have that ability so just make sure that you're trusting in yourself and believing in yourself and you have blessings so i feel like the universe is blessing you with some great opportunities i mean you're being handed a lot of things right now that you just might not notice or you might not see where that will lead you because many of you this might be something that you're just a little intrigued by or it doesn't seem like it will lead you where you want to go but if you just take that first step i think it'll open up a huge you know window of opportunity for you where you can kind of embark on something new and that will lead you where you want to go you have time to fly number 44 so yeah i think you definitely I mean, there's a lot of flight kind of oriented imagery here because we've got the feather one where she's kind of floating, you know, the friends are kind of sitting around her and she's floating. We've got a moth who flies. We've got the pig with wings, the freedom, you know, this bird is flying away from the cage. So yeah, time to fly. I think it's saying stop thinking small about yourself and make sure that you are allowing yourself to kind of come into your authentic self and into your bigger self. I feel like Many of you might have kind of a fear of success, and I know that sounds a little weird, but I think many people have a fear of success because success often demands a greater version of ourselves. You know, you have to kind of upgrade yourself to have that success, and I think many of us are afraid to take that step into it that we know we could maybe be successful, but then, then what? You know, then you have to move towards greater successes or you have to step it up and be a better version of yourself. You know, maybe you've been kind of thinking small and you've been doing things that are just okay for now, but I don't think you're satisfied with that. I think you're dreaming big, but you just have to follow through on that dream, but just know that you can do this. Yeah, you have awesomeness. Um, and I'm actually going to read this one. It says, I am capital A awesome, and I refuse to pay attention to anything that makes me feel otherwise. Instead, I congratulate myself for every victory, accomplishment, teeny tiny step in the right direction. Because even the smallest positive action, ahem, like reading an affirmation, is evidence that I care about keeping my sweet creative juju juiced up. And isn't that just the awesomest? So yeah, and here's more like flight energy too, because we've got this kind of super panda who probably can fly, or at least maybe he believes he can fly, and the whole thing is he's a superhero, so he probably can, but maybe he'd be doubting himself. So this is just saying don't doubt your awesomeness. Don't doubt your abilities to be successful in this endeavor. And you have leadership, which says this is a vote of confidence in your ability to be a good leader. Whether you're officially in a supervisory role or not, you have all the qualities it takes to fill a leader's shoes. Keep setting a good example and making others feel included. Keep being fair, diplomatic, level-headed, and honest. Keep dressing how you normally dress, but also start wearing a world's greatest overseer t-shirt and just casually play it off. So yeah, that's more energy about not thinking small. You know, start thinking big about yourself. Make sure that you are not playing small just out of fear of what could happen and or out of fear of success. This is saying you could be successful. I think you're probably a trailblazer kind of person, but you do have to trust in yourself to make it happen. You have eggplant dragon, fun. So I feel like this is saying just have fun with it as well. I think many of you might take life a bit too seriously, and that's why you're doubting your ability to do this thing. Maybe this is something that's 
more, you know, you're more passionate about it or it would be a lot more fun for you. And with this debauch, maybe you feel a little guilty about how fun it would be. Maybe it's something that wouldn't feel like work. It feels like you might be having kind of a love affair with this job or creative project or whatever it is. Um, and so just embrace it, have fun, look at it kind of like an adventure, you know, like a fun thing and don't look at it as work. Even if you are working towards it, don't take it so seriously that you're being rigid about the way that you go about things. I think if you look at it with more of a sense of fun, it might open up some options for you. It might allow your mind to really kind of delve in and, and see more opportunities and more, um, like, kind of paths that you can take and more ways that you can make this happen. And then you have raccoon. So this also makes me think of fun. I feel like raccoons are a little bit of a trickster energy sometimes. Um, but this also has to do with kind of hiding yourself, playing small, you know, feeling like you're not worth what you want to do. And I feel like that's really what we've been talking about this whole time is that I think you are playing small. You feel like you're not worthy of whatever this is. And even if you trust that you have what it takes, I think you don't know if you'd have what it takes to go beyond that then. Because I feel like you are afraid of success in many ways. You don't want to kind of jump in and like get in too deep where then you're demanding more and more of yourself and you don't want to disappoint yourself. Um, and this also has to do with like creative energy. I think a lot of artists get the raccoon as well. So I do feel like for many of you, this is something that's, you're more passionate about it. It's probably something creative, like a creative project or, you know, musical or like writing related or just some kind of art I feel like is involved in some way. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is just saying don't play small, you know, trust that you have what it takes and you have your own unique perspective that would be very valuable to many people. So I'm going to do your dice now. So we're going to roll the 10 sided dice to figure out um, how many dice we're going to roll. So you got two. So it's not a ton, but it'll still give you a few messages. Um, and we are using the actions dice. So group one, how can you get motivated? Okay. So we have this die, which I think that's like trying to figure out what's going to happen before it happens. Like you're trying to really see what the situation is. Can you really manage it? Do you know like exactly what's going to happen? You know, you want to figure everything out before you embark on it because I feel like you definitely like to be prepared, but often that kind of preparedness can go overboard too, where you're not trusting in your future self to know what to do once that future comes. And then on the eggplant dragon, we have this person ringing the doorbell. So yeah, I feel like opportunity is right there. It's trying to get your attention. I think you're probably aware of it and you've just been kind of ignoring it or you've been worried about like, I'm not ready. You know, like it's, I feel like you just don't feel ready for it, but I don't think anyone ever feels a hundred percent ready for these things. I think it's always, you have to be ready enough, but just jump in and learn as you go and trust in yourself to do that successfully. So we are going to get your charms now for some more information. And we are using the heart today to figure out what's in the heart of the situation. So that's kind of where maybe you need to focus or where you have the most control over the situation. So group one, how can you find your motivation to achieve your goals? Okay, so nothing landed in the heart, so I feel like many of you um, maybe need to kind of go about it differently than others. So there might be messages just for a bunch of different groups in here. Um, so for the initials, we have the letter I here, and we also have the letter E, and I believe that's it. Um, so with so those could be initials for some of you, or it could signify like what you want to do. It could like a word might come to mind or it could be a company or something like that. But with that letter I popping out, that's what I want to look at. So I feel like it has to do with making yourself happy first, not trying to please your family or, you know, kind of base your worth on societal expectations or anything like that. Make sure that you're being true to yourself. So we've got always and learn here. So I feel like 
that what I'm thinking of is you can always learn, you know, that's kind of what I was thinking with trusting your future self to make the right choices and to be able to handle things once they come your way. I think trusting your future self to have more experience than your present self does right now. You know, you're always learning. You can always learn new things. And I think you'll be able to step it up once the time comes. I feel like you're worried about your ability to step it up because you feel like you're not ready for it right now. Um, but just trust in that in that process and in the progress that you'll make as time goes on. We have song here as well. So I feel like for many of you, this could be something musical related, or there might even be like a motivational song that you listen to to get yourself going. So that might be a good suggestion for a lot of you is find like a motivational song that gets you like really excited and amped up. Um, I'll Make a Man Out of You from Mulan is one that comes to mind for me. So that might resonate for some of you, but like Eye of the Tiger, I feel like a lot of people um, like listen to, you know, that gets you going, that you get that kind of mental training montage in your head. And so just, you know, do whatever it takes to kind of get yourself hyped up and motivated to achieve whatever this is. And you also have this word that landed kind of sideways. So crazy is on one side and smiles on the other. Um, so for me, I'm reading that as crazy smile. So I feel like if you do this thing, you are going to be like impossibly happy about what results from it. I feel like you have to trust in yourself to, um, just like jump in and just know that you can be happier than you feel like you can be right now, if that makes sense. So I feel like many of you are doubting that it'll even make you happy, but just I think if you start honoring your true self, you'll be surprised as to how happy you can be. You have the fox here. So this is kind of more trickster energy. So I feel like there's some like kind of cunningness. So maybe you're working on this without telling people, but I feel like this is also just saying, think on your feet, you know, trust in your future self to think on your feet and to do more once, you know, that's demanded of you. You have intuitive, which is also the Pisces energy. So you might be a Pisces or someone involved might be a Pisces, but this is just saying, trust your intuition. Um, I think you probably are very intuitive people and just know that you can trust that, you know, that's not going to lead you astray. We've got the mask here and it looks like the mask is still on. So right now I feel like you're feeling like you're not being very true to yourself. You feel like you're having to put on a mask to be able to kind of survive in the world that you're in right now in your current environment. And I think this is saying you are going to be able to move into a more authentic future because we have the owl here which just says listen to your inner wisdom and maybe get advice from a wise person around you and then you have the crown here which also says princess so I feel like just kind of treat yourself better you know the crowns often have to do with confidence for me you know not playing small but that princess also says kind of treat yourself you know treat yourself like you would treat anybody else who's trying to achieve something like this you know you wouldn't drag them down just because they're trying to achieve it. You know, you want to kind of motivate yourself like you'd motivate a friend who you have full faith, trust, and belief in. We also have the leopard here. So um, that makes me think of like a leopard can't change his spots. So I feel like maybe this is like the imagery that I'm getting right now is that maybe you've been trying to kind of paint over your spots so that you blend in with the crowd around you and you actually stand out. So allow yourself to stand out, allow yourself to kind of be looked at like you're crazy from people around you because we also have crazy and we have the circus tent. So the energy that I'm getting is that you're trying to blend in so much and it just doesn't feel right to you. You know, you're trying to blend into your environment and you're not meant to blend in. You're meant to stand out. You're meant to be unique and to embark on whatever this endeavor is. And I think you'll be surprised as to how successful you can be. Because um, we also have the angel here, so that makes me think of just angelic protection, that you have guides around you, you have people trying to help you, and you might have some mentors on earth as well who are trying to help you and who are willing to kind of give you a helping hand. So make use of that. You don't have to do everything yourself. You can accept support if you want it or if you need it, and especially if it's offered already. Um, and then, yeah, with the old woman who lived in a shoe, I feel like you just feel like you don't have what it takes. You don't have enough to offer. You don't have enough to really be who you want to be. I think you're expecting so much of yourself and you don't see as much in your current self already that would make you feel like you can do what you want to do. But just this is saying you have plenty. You have what it takes. You have enough. And this letter E I'm looking at and that's making me think of the word enough. So you have enough. You are so enough. So just trust in that. And then with the circus, um, so many of you might want to be performers of some sort, but this is also just making me think 
of surprises and the unexpected and things just getting crazy and you may be doing something that people think is crazy or unusual. So just allow yourself to do that. If that feels right to you, do whatever that thing is Um, and just trust in yourself to be unique, to be your crazy self and know that things might start to get overwhelming once they get going. So maybe you're a little wary of allowing the universe to surprise you. But I think that in this case, you will be presently, present, (laughs) pleasantly surprised. I'm sorry, I can't talk. Um, So yeah, I think you'll definitely be very, very happy with the outcome. But you just have to make sure that you don't play small, that you're not holding yourself back. Because I think any limitations you have right now are self-inflicted. So just kind of motivate yourself, you know, trust in yourself, get that confidence back and just go for it. So Group one, I hope that this resonates. I would love to hear if it does, so please leave me a comment below. If you enjoyed this reading, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hi, group two. So if you chose the spoon that says, not your average Joe, then this is your reading. So we're going to start with your tarot and oracle, and then do your dice, and then your charms at the end. So let's figure out how you can get motivated to achieve your goals. For your tarot, you have death and rebirth, which is number 13. You have four of pentacles, power. And you have four of wands, completion. So I feel like when you're setting goals and trying to achieve things, you probably go through some cycles Um, because we have the death and rebirth cycle. So I feel like maybe you're the type of person to get into something and then lose motivation. And then you get motivation to either do something else or you get that motivation back for that. And then for this four of wands completion, there's also a wheel here. So that makes me think a lot about that wheel energy, just the cycles kind of continuing. Um, and I feel like maybe you are looking for the power to complete those cycles and that maybe you are the type to abandon projects partway through that um, your energy might be a little bit fleeting even if you want to achieve something but maybe you're looking at things a little bit too like rigidly that you aren't as willing to look outside the box or you have a harder time looking outside the box and that's why you kind of lose that motivation partway through is that when you get stuck it just kind of ends things there so um, I want to get your oracle to see kind of some more information so You have raindrops, take a chance on them, number 39. So I feel like this is just saying when things get tough, take a chance on things anyway. Like even if you feel like, you know, you're in a period of time where things are going to start slowing down or you're having a harder time with things, don't then use that time to opt out of the project because it's no longer easy or don't avoid starting something because you're worried about how it might go down. You know, do it anyway and just take a chance. You know, even with this umbrella here, it's saying to me, kind of be prepared for those times and have maybe part of a plan in place of what to do once you start losing that motivation or once you get stuck and aren't sure where to go from there or, you know, kind of set up something so that when you start a new project, you're prepared in case something goes wrong. You have Butterfly Spirit, Transformation is Beautiful, number 11. So that's interesting because that is a very similar message to this Death and Rebirth card. So, and even the imagery is very similar. Look at, you know, how this girl is kind of turning into the phoenix and rising up out of the flames and this butterfly, it's that same position. Um, So I feel like, yeah, that just kind of is emphasizing to me that you do go through those cycles where you get motivated and then you kind of lose hope. So I'm thinking maybe this is saying change the way that you go about things you know that that transformation is going to be beautiful and maybe even um if you're like a writer or something uh maybe you struggle with like the editing process where you have to change what you initially set out to do into something else and just honor that process as well you know it doesn't have to end up being exactly what you had initially hoped it would be or what you had anticipated from the beginning it can transform into something new and that's still equally valid You also have the giraffe spirit, see the big picture, number 29. So I wonder if you are the type to kind of just get excited about something, but you don't necessarily know like where to go once you get, you know, once you get stuck, you're not really sure what your initial purpose was. You know, you're trying to figure out 
like what to do, but when you get stuck, maybe you need to take a step back and see the big picture, you know, figure out what your initial purpose in doing this was, you know, what, why did you want to do this particular project or achieve this particular thing and kind of reconnect with that sense of purpose and, um, you know, because you can always work out the details later and I feel like sometimes you get too close to the situation and you have a hard time seeing it from a higher perspective and that might be something that will help you. You have peace, so... Yeah, I feel like maybe sometimes you just need to take a step back and be at peace with the state of things, like as they are now. Maybe you need to get into kind of a meditation routine to figure out how to go about things in a better way. Um, I just feel like you need to maybe clear your mind because I feel like you just kind of ride on that motivation train. And when that burns up, you, you change direction and go do something else. So maybe you need to take a little more time to just pause and, and have a sense of peace and just you know, let your brain rest a little bit. And you also have trust. So to me, this is saying trust in yourself, trust in your own wings, because we've got this girl with the wings here. Um, maybe trust in a higher power or assistance or for things to work out for the best, because we also have this light shining down from above. So even when things feel foggy and stormy and you're not really sure kind of where to go, trust that things will work out again. And this kind of storm energy is similar to this raindrops card as well, that maybe you just have a hard time once obstacles start coming up, you know, and sometimes you might even take that as a sign that you're not meant to be doing this thing or you, you kind of see it as like, oh man, I shouldn't even do this because there's so many obstacles. But sometimes obstacles are just obstacles. They're not a sign that you're doing the wrong thing. They're just sometimes something to test you. Sometimes it's just a fluke that comes up and you just have to find a way to problem solve and work through it. You have loud and clear, number 45. So I feel like maybe you are getting some signs about what you should be doing and you've been trying to listen to it but then you do get easily diverted um but with that loud and clear we've got this light on the trust card kind of coming down so i feel like maybe you are kind of connecting to your intuition and to the universe that's kind of telling you to do something um and it's i think maybe you need to be listening to that and also maybe get loud and clear with yourself about what you're setting out to do so that's with this see the big picture it's finding that sense of purpose why are you initially doing this and find a way to recapture that when you start losing motivation you have drive which says you are hereby awarded an infinitude of drive motivation follow through stick to itiveness and any other permutation of said super fuel you can wake up, buck up, and blast through the daily darnets to finish whatever project you've got your greasy little mitts on. Even if the luster of your once so very new and thrilling idea has lost some or a lot of its sparkle, you've now got the boost you need to just keep slogging till it's done. And the speedier, the better-er, so you can fall in love with the next new sweet creative thing. So, yeah, this I feel like is saying, hey, you know, we're kind of giving you that extra boost to get through. So, um, I feel like that is probably something that you often struggle with is just when you kind of hit that slowdown, you really struggle in keeping that drive. And I think this is saying we'll help you, you know, kind of boost that drive. And along with that card, you got getting it out. Um, so I'm gonna read that card as well and then I'll give my insights on that. It says, I value myself and the things I have to say. Even if all I have in me is a few words, even if they're spoken in a whisper, even if they're written on a dirty napkin and hidden in the bottom of my junk drawer, I'm still going to get those thoughts out of me and notice that the universe, or at least drawer bottom, is a more interesting place because of me. Word up, or I guess down on paper. So yeah, I feel like many of you actually might be writers because I am getting a little bit of a writing vibe here. Um, or at least maybe you like to like write lists to kind of get your ideas out and everything and that just is easier for you to see it a little more clearly but this is also telling me that that's a good way to keep your drive going is just when you have those ideas rather than trying to get it from beginning to end all the way through right then and there just get it out on paper you know get that rough first draft out so whatever it is if, if it's a plan if it's an outline if it's just the words that you want to feel when you achieve this project you know whatever you have in you write that out and that might be a good way to like help you get over like writer's block or those other obstacles that keep coming up when you get stuck I think that might be something that might help you kind of keep going when things get tough. And then you also got transmutation. I have the ability to transmute negative feelings into positive ones and I exercise it at will. The next time someone frustrates, annoys, or eats tuna too close to me, I will lean towards kindness and acceptance rather than stabbiness and loathing. But if they're also humming while eating that tuna, then all bets are off. So I feel like 
maybe you do get kind of down on yourself or you might be someone who kind of gets easily distracted. Like if somebody else kind of comes into your space while you're working or, you know, something else comes up, it's just easy for you to lose that motivation and that kind of luster of like getting excited to do something and you just lose it if you get out of that kind of groove going. So I think this is saying you have that power to like transmute it into being okay with being distracted and get right back to it because I feel like that might be something that you just need to work at is just coming back to it even if you feel like it's a struggle and just give yourself time to get back into it and just if you need to take that break like the peace card was talking about to kind of you know recenter yourself and jump back in. You have broccoli dragon place so yeah, with me saying with that transmutation card, like if people invade your space, I'm wondering if having kind of a designated workspace would help you. Maybe some of you don't have that or you don't make as good of use out of that as you should or that is something that you need and that helps you with your motivation and drive. I think this is saying that that is an important factor for you. Um, I think having that designated space is going to help you get into the right mindset. It might kind of center you. And once you get into that routine, I think it will help you kind of open up to more inspiration, more drive, like more problem solving skills, that kind of thing. And then you got two animal spirit cards. So you got cheetah and you got firefly. So with those, those are both very kind of fiery to me, even though I know firefly is, um, an air animal in this deck. Um, the cheetah to me is about like motivation, like setting your sights on something and going for it and making sure that you are reconnecting with that sense of purpose. So that's kind of what I was saying with the see the bigger picture and things like that. Um, just connect with why you're doing this in the first place. Make sure that you have that in mind so that when you run into those obstacles, you can reconnect with that and you know, that helps you work around those problems. And then I think those problems don't seem as big and you can take a different route to get to the goal that you have in mind. Um, and just like, that's a very powerful, like inspiration oriented card as well. And then Firefly to me is very inspiration oriented. So that like kind of light in the darkness, it lights up, it's fleeting, it does not last forever, but it just kind of brightens up and it just feels like, oh yeah, that, you know, that kind of feeling where it's just you have kind of an aha moment. Like this almost makes me think of like the light bulb moment when you just realize, hey, this is what I want to do. Or, oh, how about this? Or here's a great idea. That kind of energy for me is very firefly. So I feel like just know that that is fleeting and then tap into that kind of cheetah energy to kind of motivate you to get all the way through it, you know, rather than allowing it to just pass you by let that inspire you, but then use this sense of drive and purpose to follow through all the way. Because I do think that follow through for you might be kind of lacking and you might allow it to fall through on many occasions. So I'm going to get your dice now. Um, so I'm going to roll this 10 sided die to figure out how many dice we're going to roll. And we are doing the actions story cubes today. So we're going to roll all nine, it looks like for you. So group two, how can you Find the motivation to achieve your goals. Okay. So, we have this person kind of falling and it looks like they're like right about to hit the ground. So I feel like you do maybe kind of push yourself and you jump into things, but then you just come to a grinding halt and you worry about what's going to happen once you hit the ground. So I feel like just that sense of like losing control um, might come up a lot. So yeah, again, just reconnect with that sense of purpose. Um, this particular one, this person trying to figure out kind of what's in front of them. I feel like maybe you do fall into the pattern of trying to plan out every step. Um, and when things don't go the way that you had anticipated, you have a hard time adapting. So I think that's just saying, you know, Make sure that you have a plan, but that you are willing to adapt and change things if needed. We have this person like coughing or clearing their throat or whatever. So it might mean that um, like someone maybe is trying to get your attention or there's like some idea that keeps kind of coming up that you keep thinking about. But it also just makes me think like clear out like your lungs, like clear out your mind and stuff. You know, it's just um, since it's on that peace card in particular, it's making me think just find a a way to clear your mind so that you can reconnect with that sense of purpose and that bigger picture of why you're doing this. We have this person who's kind of hanging 
um, from, I don't know what this is, if they're like hanging from a tree branch or something. So I feel like maybe you are feeling like you can't maybe pull yourself up if you're in a situation where you're just kind of hanging on by a thread, um, that you're worried you can't, you don't have the strength to go on or something. So maybe you do have that burnout that you just keep going, going, going. Cause that's something that's very cheetah energy as well is that they run very fast but then they do need a lot of rest. So I feel like this is saying just make sure that you're making time for yourself to rest so that you don't burn out. We have this like dancing person. So I wonder if um, music might be helpful to you to get motivated again, or you might be like hearing signs from music. Like maybe that's giving you some ideas or something because we have loud and clear right there. And that's what this landed on. So um, I'm wondering if some of you are hearing some messages in music or that's giving you an idea or you might be wanting to do something musically related we have this person kicking the ball here so that's kind of in between loud and clear and trust so I'm feeling like this is saying you know send that energy out whatever you're trying to achieve but then trust it will be done you know as long as you put that work in because with this person laying the bricks that's just that kind of menial long-term work you know you have to do it little by little but if you do that then eventually you know, one brick turns into more bricks and then it becomes a wall, but it does take time and you do have to be patient with yourself. You have this person thinking or like it kind of looks to me like they're reminiscing because this person looks like they're kind of older. They've got some wrinkles and like they're balding. So it makes me think of just like reminiscing on past experiences or maybe there's something from your childhood that you're wanting to kind of re-engage in. Um, it might also be like you heard like messages from somebody or like from the universe and you're thinking about those again like maybe that is something I want to do so maybe this is something you kind of stopped doing for a while and you're wanting to like get back into it so that might resonate for some people and then you have the scissors cutting through the paper so I feel like this is saying like declutter your space clean up what doesn't work for you especially because it's on this place card so um, just maybe get organized take this time to kind of clear out your space get set up get into that mood where you have like a designated space for you to do this work. So just make sure that you have that available to you so that you don't um, like keep kind of falling through or, or give in to distractions and things like that. Like make sure that people who live with you or whatever know that this is your designated workspace. So we're going to get your charms now and we're going to use the heart to figure out what's in the heart of the situation. So wherever you have more um, focus, like wherever you need to focus or wherever you have more um, power over the situation. So group two, what, how can you get more motivation to achieve your goals? Okay. So you did get quite a few charms here, but in the hearts you got the parrot. Um, so that to me just talks about communication. So this might be something where you just have something to say and you're not sure how to say it. Um, again, this could be writing related or just some kind of expression of yourself and you're trying to figure out how to make it happen, how to say it, how to express it. And then you have from. So I'm wondering if also somebody might be telling you something. Maybe you're going to get some insight or additional advice from somebody. Um, like someone who's very like communicative, you might be getting communication from them and that might open up more motivation or another opportunity for you. You've got um, a couple letters here. So you have O and you have N. So it could be on, it could also be no, or it could just be initials that mean something to you, either a person's name or a place or a company, something you want to do, something might come to mind. But I'm feeling like maybe you maybe you are too quick to say no when you're not feeling on if that makes sense like if you're feeling like you're not in that mood you're not motivated anymore you're just like oh no it's not worth it so just you know take a break don't be afraid to take a break but then get back in there um you have wish here so i feel like there is something that you've wanted to do maybe you feel like it's out of reach it's not possible so i think this is saying that your wish can come true because you do also have the genie's lamp, um, the magic lamp here. So I feel like that's saying, even if it seems crazy, it can come true. You know, just ask for what you want, get clear about it, and then go for it. Because um, you do also have the word crazy here. So I feel like you might think it's crazy that you want this or that you're trying to achieve it. So just trust in yourself to do that, to achieve that. You also have the number three here. So that could be like the month of March. It could be an important date or number for some of you. But 
Um, just keep that in mind. That might resonate for a few of you. And that's also like Empress energy. So I feel like that kind of sense of growth because we do have like a few flowers and stuff here as well. So just kind of trusting that the situation will grow and bloom as long as you nurture it, as long as you kind of keep feeding into it. You have Lucky here. So yeah, you've got supportive energy around you. You just have to make use of it. You have Create. So I definitely think this is most likely a creative um, endeavor for most of you. I think it might be something you've wanted to do forever because we have forever there or it's something you want to continue to do forever. Um, you have this freedom. Um, so I feel like just free yourself from those limitations that you've put on yourself. I think many of you have kind of held back out of fear or out of just feeling like you don't know how to move once you get into trouble um, or into kind of an obstacle. Once you run into some uh, pushback, then you have a harder time moving forward. I feel like many of you are kind of like a lone wolf that you have a hard time maybe asking other people for help or advice. Um, maybe you feel like you're alone in wanting to do what you want to do. So maybe even seeking out a community to kind of help you out or to bounce ideas off of might kind of help you. Um, we have Eeyore here. So Eeyore to me represents kind of sadness and depression and lack of motivation. So I do think that's kind of the mode you get into once things stop working out for you. You kind of get very down on yourself and just make sure that even if you kind of get into that mood, you can pick yourself up out of it again. Just trust that things will work out again. You have the elephant that's kind of decorated here. So that to me is a symbol of celebration and um, like completion as well. So that's that four of wands energy. So just know that you can complete things if you want to. But again, you just have to get right back in there. You know, you can't kind of stop yourself and hold yourself back. I think you do need to work on getting yourself unstuck in these old patterns. Um, I think this is just going to take a lot of hard work and just even if it ends up not being perfect, it was still made with love. You put a lot of work into it. So kind of value yourself based on that. You know, don't just like expect yourself to only be perfect. I think um, you might be feeling attached to a specific situation, a specific outcome. So this might signify that you need to detach from that or allow that to kind of be let go if it's not working out the way you had hoped. You have the gin bottle here. So that just symbolizes letting go of vices. So I think in your case, this is that tendency to just drop things when it gets hard. So get that resilience back, you know, bounce back up and try to follow through something to completion in the future. You have the um, mermaid here, which I always take as like Ariel from the Little Mermaid. So to me, that always makes me think of like part of your world. So wanting something that you don't have right now, you feel like it's a totally different world than what you grew up in, but you feel like that's what fits you better. So I do think this is an endeavor that you don't feel like you necessarily fit into, but you feel like that's kind of where your soul fits, but you don't know how to get there. You have peace here. So again, that kind of message of peace, taking time out, making sure that you give yourself a break and you have made with love. So I think, again, don't be so focused on the perfection. Make sure that you are allowing yourself kind of room for error and for mistakes and for imperfection and value it anyway, even if that end result doesn't turn out perfect. Perfection does not exist. So, you know, be proud of yourself regardless of how you think the thing turns out, whatever the end goal of this project is. You have the witch flying on the broom, and for me, I mean, this could signify Halloween, so that might be significant to some of you, but otherwise, this is just personal power. So trusting in yourself and in your abilities, even if that makes you, like, kind of freakish in the eyes of society, or, like, if you feel like other people just don't understand you, it kind of symbolizes being misunderstood as well. Um, and you have the scorpion, which is also Scorpio energy, so that's kind of similar with the misunderstood energy, um, like shadow work, and also the scorpion um, is kind of like prepared to sting when things go wrong. So maybe you do tend to kind of lash out when things don't go your way, but then you're over it. But I feel like maybe you are kind of keeping yourself too guarded a lot of the time so that you're not allowing the blessings and the benefits to come in. You have the dragonfly in this kind of bubble of energy here. So that makes me think of just like transformation. So similar to that butterfly card, but also keeping that bubble around you. So making sure that you're not influenced by outside sources. You know, if people are distracting you or if you feel like someone says something that gets you down and makes you not motivated anymore, just keep that bubble around you. Keep that kind of mental force field up so that you're not influenced by other people. You have the rose here. So 
that just makes me think like every rose has its thorns. So there's always going to be negative aspects to what you're working on. You're always going to have days that you're not really excited about it, that you're not feeling good about it, but that's why you need to reconnect with that big picture, you know, what, that sense of purpose. Why are you doing this? Because I do think you have solutions here um, and just you need to trust in those. And we also have the child here. So I feel like this could be like childhood wounding that's making you give up um, so quickly on some of this. And I feel like, because this is making me think like the key is in your childhood. So I feel like some of you, this could be um, like wounds from your childhood that keep kind of resurfacing and that's why you hold back so much. You have the Buddha, which is enlightenment. So I feel like maybe this reading might give you some enlightenment, but I think some of you do need to kind of introspect, take that time out to really explore why you stop when you're getting into things. You have the cat who's sitting here on the moon just like kind of waiting for its dreams to come true. So yeah, I feel like many of you dream of a lot of this stuff and you kind of wait around for it, but you're not really following through all the way to actually get it going. I think you get excited about it, but then once that excitement fades, you stop. So I think you just need to kind of keep going. And this makes me think of teamwork, the kind of baseball with the two bats. So I think maybe you need to trust in some other people to help you or to give you advice or, you know, confide in someone because this also makes me think of competition. So maybe you are worried that other people will steal your ideas or that they don't want the best for you, but I think you probably have a few people around you that you can really trust in. So make sure you're not holding back out of fear because um, that's really, I think, what I'm getting is holding back out of fear and just making sure that you follow through regardless of how motivated you're feeling. Get more disciplined because that motivation will be fleeting. So just reconnect with that sense of purpose and you'll be surprised as to what you can achieve. So group two, I hope that this resonates. I would love to hear if it does, so please leave me a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope that you have an awesome rest of your day and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hi group three, so if you chose the spoon that says rise and grind, then this is your message. So we're going to start with your tarot and oracle and then do your dice and then your charms at the end. So let's figure out how you can get motivated to achieve your goals. So for your tarot, you have Ace of Cups, Princess of Pentacles or Page of Pentacles, and Five of Wands, Strife. So I feel like you're feeling very open and like ready for something new. I feel like you're, maybe this is something that you, you've been wanting to do for a while. Um, like whatever this goal is, it might be something that you get kind of emotional over at times because you just feel like attached to it. Um, with the Princess of Pentacles, that's making me feel like this is something that you're going to have to kind of go out with a beginner's mind. Um, and I feel like you are kind of open to that. Um, you're ready to just learn something new to get in there and be kind of green at it. But then with the five of wands, since it says strife as well, I feel like maybe there's some part of you that's feeling like not good enough or there's something holding you back from this, um, like from jumping in all the way that there's maybe some kind of mental or emotional conflict that you're in where you're just kind of not all in quite yet. Um, you might be worried about how competitive this would be if you got into it. Maybe this is something that not many people get to do and you feel like you'd just be competing with other people or you don't feel like your ideas are valid or as valid as other people's. Maybe you feel like you'd be worrying about like copying someone else's work, something like that. But I want to see what your oracle cards have to say. So you have library, take control of your own narrative, number 22. So I feel like maybe, maybe what this strife is, is pressure from other people like maybe you've been kind of you feel like you've been controlled by others whether that's by like family or society or whatever it is cultural expectations um, and I think you're ready to embark on something that feels more true to you more authentic um, and I think this is just saying just make sure that you are doing things for your own reasons and you're not allowing yourself to just be kind of manipulated by somebody else because other people might not even have your best interests at heart. It might be for their own interests. And you also have red, forgive, number 10. So I feel like this is saying forgive others, but also forgive yourself is more what I'm getting here. Like maybe you were being inauthentic for a long time because of whatever this pressure was, or maybe you kind of feel like you waited too long 
on achieving something or, you know, going after whatever this goal might be. And now you're kind of feeling not necessarily like it's too late, but you're feeling like, oh, if I had only done this differently back then, you did the best that you could with what you had at the time, whatever that was. I think you felt like like now you're looking back with hindsight and you're feeling like you would make different choices if you knew what you know now, but at the time you did the best that you could. So just try to kind of make room in your heart for forgiving yourself. You have dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion, number 22. So we have two 22s here um, because that library card was also number 22. So 222 or like 2222 might be a significant number for you. You might be seeing a lot of twos lately. Um, but uh, I feel like, I think you might be kind of not making up a story in your head, but you might be feeling like other people are going to judge you or um, like you're holding yourself back out of some illusion of either perfection or feeling like you should be achieving something differently than you're going about it. And I think this is saying that truth will transcend illusion. So um, like the truth will come out. You're not going to be stuck in this kind of period of not knowing or feeling unsure forever. I think you are going to get that kind of, this gives me kind of ace of swords energy. So just that cutting through all the crap, you know, you're going to get clarity on this situation. And speaking of which, your next card is clarity. So yeah, I feel like Maybe that's what you're lacking and that's why you are feeling conflicted right now is because you don't have clarity on either what you want to do or how to go about it, if that's really like what you should achieve, how to do it, you know, whatever you're waiting for clarity on, this is saying clarity will come and I think that is kind of, um, that's going to be what boosts you into your next stage of this. So maybe even take time to like meditate, um, really think things through, try not to let anxiety or fear take over and make you overanalyze the situation, I think it might be good to just get factual with yourself and maybe even like write down a pro con list or something like that so that you get just everything out on the table so that you can look at it more objectively. You have heartbeat number 49. So I feel like this gives me very much that kind of Ace of Cups vibe. So yeah, I feel like this is something that just makes you feel maybe more connected to the people around you, more connected to the universe. It just feels like what you're meant to do. You just feel emotionally open. It just feels right to you. You know, you just feel kind of at your core in your heart and soul that this is what you're meant to be doing. Um, and it just makes you feel emotionally full, if that makes sense. So just whatever that is, is that makes you feel that way that's kind of a sign that you're on the right path so just keep that in mind um for some of you there might be like some aspect of like romance involved with this if you're wanting to like write romance novels or something like that i'm not sure that it's necessarily that but that's just what came to mind so just kind of keep that in mind that might play into things somehow but i feel like there is that element of like emotional or like connection with others that you're feeling conflicted so maybe you feel like you'd kind of step onto someone else's territory if you went into this or something like that. So just that might resonate for a few of you. So for your affirmators, you have observation. I observe the vast and dynamic world around me and funnel everything I see into my filing cabinet of most exceptional visionary potential. This is the raw material my brain will sneakily and ingeniously use to fashion its next surprising out of the blue. What a relief it is to know that nothing ever needs to be invented. It's already walking around in the world just waiting to be presented. So I feel like you might be very, like, a very observant person, and maybe that's what's kind of holding you back, is that you see somebody else maybe struggling to do what you want to do, and maybe you're worried about, like, kind of stepping on their toes a little bit if you maybe, like, submit something to the same place that they're submitting or if you apply for that same job or something like that. I feel like there's just kind of something um, going on in the situation where you might feel like you'd get into trouble with a friend or a family member or something that you just feel like you might kind of put some people's noses out of joint with doing this, with trying to achieve this. So um, I feel like you've been just in observation mode for a while where you've just been watching and you know that that's what you want to do, but you're holding back just because of that. So, but keep that observation used for good. Like make sure that you're using it to help you and not to kind of put you in a state of fear, if that makes sense. So make sure that you are 
using that to help propel you forward and to help you do things in the most efficient way or in the most like intelligent way or something like that versus using that to say, oh no, I could never do that or I shouldn't do that or whatever. You know, don't let that talk you out of what you want to do. You also have my own champion, which says, I am an unabashed, unconditional, shouting through a megaphone champion of myself and my work. If a useless, up to no good, critical voice in my head tries to discourage, dissuade, or diss me, I politely say, thank you for your input. Then I much less politely stuff that critical voice into a box, light the box on fire, and throw it into a bottomless abyss. I knew that abyss would come in handy one day. So yeah, this is definitely just saying, you know, silence your inner critic, because I feel like many of you, this inner critic might be something where you're too hard on yourself, but I feel like for more of you, it's you worrying about what other people will think, or will I hurt somebody else's feelings by doing this, but you have to be your own champion, you know, that's, that's very similar to this, take control of your own narrative, make sure you're doing things for your own reasons, and you're not opting out of doing what you want to do for somebody else. So just keep that in mind. And then finally, you have process. So it says, no matter what I'm writing, designing, making, planning, or otherwise out of thin air pulling, I surrender to the process part of the process. I realize that nothing is perfect at first, except maybe a baby otter, and I welcome the messy imperfections of my process with open arms. Messiness is proof that I trust myself, so let's ignore the dirty coffee cups and donut shrapnel on my desk, okay? So this kind of makes me think of that Page of Pentacles, this Princess of Pentacles energy, because it's very much that beginner's mind just kind of getting in there and doing things um, and just not being worried about being perfect, just going at it, just getting things out there, you know, getting your energy out into the world. And I feel like because you're this observational person, I don't think that it's going to be all that chaotic um, because I feel like you've been learning as you go, even without that experience. But remember that you do have to get in there and start getting that experience, the practical experience, as well as just kind of learning the theory, if that makes sense. So some of you might be more like mental, you might read about something, but you're afraid to actually try it. So just remember, you have to get in there and experiment and get messy in order to kind of move forward in that endeavor. You have Blueberry Dragon goals. So I think this is saying just get clear about your goals. Make sure that you are getting, like, just make sure that you get that clear goal in mind because I feel like some of you might be feeling like you want to do something but you're not sure why and you need to make sure that you are going at those goals for your own reasons um, and, like, working that process to move towards those goals and not just doing what other people want you to do just because you feel like they'd be happier if you did something else. You know, if you have that sense of purpose within that and you get clear on that, I think that's going to help propel you forward more quickly than if you were kind of fighting yourself and, and holding back out of fear of what other people might think. So just keep that in mind, that getting clear on your goals, I think is going to be key here. And then finally, you got zebra. So this to me just has to do with Kind of uniqueness, you know, embracing your own like eccentricity and your own uniqueness um, and just making sure that you are kind of following through on that and get curious about things. You know, I feel like right now you might feel like you've just got a lot of like raw material and you want to perfect it before you even get it out into the world and just don't be afraid to get it out there like with this process. Don't be afraid to get it out there before it's like ready. Um, Make sure that you're willing to kind of learn as you go, get curious about how things are, but just make sure that you are using that to do something. Don't just think and think and think and think, because thinking can only get you so far. You have to kind of take that practical road as well to make sure that you're actually making something of it, because I think many of you do kind of sit in your heads, and that's with that strife. I do think for many of you that's that mental strife where you just keep going back and forth and back and forth, and you can't decide so just make sure that you just get it out there and then see what happens. You know, see what's what it looks like once it's all in front of you. So I'm going to do your dice now, and we're using the action story cubes. So I'm going to roll this 10-sided die to figure out how many dice we're rolling. And we're doing 8. So group 3, how can you get motivated to achieve your goals? Okay. 
so I'm actually going to start over here. So with this was on the clarity card and this person's just like pushing against a brick wall. So to me, this feels like maybe you've been doing something for a long time that just doesn't feel right to you and you're still trying to go for it and you're like, why isn't this working? But you do need to get clear on what you want, why you want it. I think that's going to help you not feel like you're getting nowhere. You have this person kind of making a leap off this big step here. So I feel like this is taking a leap of faith, doing what your heart wants because that's right on the heartbeat card. So I feel like it's just saying jump into things. You know, if your heart is telling you to do something, go for it. You know, don't hold back just out of fear because I feel like that fear really is what this block in this particular story cube is there. You know, that's it's just that fear that you're pushing up against and that's what's holding you back. We have the person who's like coughing or clearing their throat on the forgive. So I feel like this is almost like the universe going like, ahem, like clearing its throat, trying to get your attention, trying to say you need to forgive yourself for maybe not doing things the way that you wanted to ages ago, but then also make sure that you're not repeating those same mistakes. So if you've been holding back and doing what someone else wanted, don't continue to hold back. Even though you know that you want something else, don't then keep falling into those same traps of just trying to please other people. You know, you've, you've hopefully learned that lesson. It's saying you've already gone through that. Don't go through it again because you already know what you want. We have the person who's kind of play acting with these like dolls here on observation. So that's making me think like maybe you do kind of plan out scenarios in your head and just try to kind of plan out every possible way of things to happen before you actually get in there. Like you really like to be prepared. You like kind of seeing what might happen and maybe you are the type of person to kind of have a conversation in your head to see how you'd respond to someone if they get upset with you or, you know, something like that. I just feel like you really love to be prepared, but just know sometimes you have to just jump in anyway. I think you are plenty prepared, much more so than you think you are. You have the person like kind of making a comment or asking a question here and that's on my own champion. So I feel like this is saying don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to get yourself, your own opinions, your own view of the world out there. You have the um, shirt like hanging out on the clothesline here and that makes me think of just like kind of getting like it's almost like you've kind of washed out all of the stuff that didn't serve you anymore and now you're kind of waiting for that to be ready like you're almost like waiting for yourself to dry out in the sun you're absorbing kind of that light and then once you're fully dry you're like ready to like get out into the world so I almost feel like in some ways you're waiting too long for yourself to be ready you're like oh but then you know once I let it dry I have to iron it and then you know I want to make sure it's perfect so I want to like lint roll it and you know make sure there's no like dust or, or lint or anything on there and I just feel like you might be kind of going through that process of like constantly putting off what you want to do because you're you're afraid and so you're kind of self-sabotaging by trying to be perfectly ready when I think you're a lot more ready than you think you are. Make sure that you're putting those old behaviors to rest, you know, make sure that you're not just continuing those old patterns. I think you are ready to end those, but you have to be willing to just stop it and not keep continuing it. And I know that it might be a painful process, but just know that by pulling out whatever is toxic or giving you pain right now, it might be painful in the moment, but then you will feel so much better after it's done. So I want to get your charms now for more information. So we are using the heart today to figure out what's in the heart of the situation. That's kind of where maybe you need to put your focus or what you have more control over in the situation. So group three, how can you get motivated to achieve your goals? Okay, so in the heart we have the to-go coffee. So I feel like this is just saying like just go for it. You know, even if you have to like jump in and just kind of be on the go, do that. I know that that might be tiring, but that's, I feel like this is saying like do whatever it takes to kind of get yourself excited about it. Like I feel like sometimes it's just something as easy as getting a cup of coffee to get motivated about the situation. You know, that's just find whatever that thing is that kind of gets you into the groove and then do it. Um, this pair of pliers makes me think of that, here we go, this story cube with the tooth getting pulled out here. So I feel like that is saying just, it might be a painful removal of whatever doesn't serve you anymore, 
but I think that is necessary in the situation. Remove what doesn't serve you, even if it's painful, but then I think you will feel much better afterwards. And we do have this tooth here too. So that's just like tripling that message of just, you have something you have to remove from your life that's giving you pain constantly and it'll be painful in the moment when you remove it, but then you'll feel much, much better. And then we finally have the dream catcher here. So yeah, this is something I think that you've been dreaming about. I think you've been thinking about it for a long time, probably since you were a kid or at least very young. You know, this is something that's been on your mind for a long time. I think you've probably held back just because you feel like it is just a dream. It's not possible, but this is saying it is. Um, it is possible. You just have to go for it. You know, you can't hold back and, and just think your way through that goal, if that makes sense. You have want. So, yeah, I think this is something you desperately want. Um, love, I think that's definitely, um, and you also have like. So, love and like make me think that you are just, this is something that you're so passionate about. You know, there's so much like want and not necessarily obsession here, but it's just something that makes you feel passionate. You just feel right with that. And this is something just like the deepest part of your heart wants this. You have from, um, and that's right next to this bird here. So I feel like you might be getting communication from somebody um, related to whatever this scenario is. And it's next to the letter K. So someone with first or last name starting with K might be significant here. And you also have the letter B. Um, so those might be significant. I'm also seeing kind of the word book here. So that might be, you might get a message in a book. Um, like if you're reading something on like how to motivate yourself or how to go about whatever this um, endeavor is, you might be getting some advice there and that might be something that really resonates with you that you want to kind of keep like take note of um, and you want to kind of keep it in the back of your mind. But yeah, many of you might be getting some communication about whatever this opportunity might be. You have passport. So I do feel like you feel maybe unprepared for this. It's, it's a totally new endeavor and um, you really want it, but it is something that you've never done before. It's something that you just feel maybe woefully unprepared for, but you're excited. You know, treat it like an adventure, a voyage, um, and it might require you to relocate as well. Um, with the top hat, I feel like you might feel not good enough for this situation. You might feel like you don't have what it takes. Like you might feel um, like less than the other people. There might be some kind of elitism regarding this situation, like either only rich people do it or a certain like societal class might be kind of involved or you just feel like with your background or what you've done prior to this, like whatever career you've had or upbringing you had, you just feel like this isn't meant for you, even though in your heart you know that that's not the case. You have the ice skate. So I feel like just kind of skating smoothly forward and just keep in mind that when kids learn to ice skate, you know, you're really wobbly at first, but then you do get smoother and smoother the more you get used to it, you train. So just keep that in mind that you do have to start on those wobbly skates before you can get more confident and smoother about it. So just give yourself some slack, you know, cut yourself some slack, give yourself, um, like be compassionate, make sure that you're showing grace to yourself as well, that you're not holding yourself to an impossible standard that you would never hold anyone else to. We have the owl here. So listen to your inner wisdom, maybe take advice from people wiser than you. You might be kind of seeking out a mentor or an advisor of some sort. Make sure that you are taking things slow and steady and just kind of go with the flow. You know, make sure that you are kind of riding those waves, the ups and downs. You have the car here. So I do feel like you do feel motivated to do this, but you're just holding back out of like fear or just worry about what someone else will say or just there's there's something blocking you but I think if you remove that block you're just going to zip forward because this almost makes me think of those wind-up cars that you like pull back and then when you let them go they just go zipping forward so I feel like for many of you that's kind of how this energy is going to go you have the squirrel which speaks of investments paying off and effort paying off so I think if you really get into this it will pay off for you you have a couple of butterflies here. So you have this butterfly and you also have this second butterfly. So yeah, transformation, um, allowing yourself to release the past, making sure that you're letting go of old patterns, old toxic behavior, just old mindsets and ways of thinking, um, and just allow yourself to blossom and to grow into this new beautiful version of you. You have the pipe here. So that makes me think 
almost of like kind of old like tradition um maybe you feel like you're like held back out of um like gender expectations like maybe this is something that's traditionally masculine and you're more feminine or the reverse I feel like maybe you just feel like you'd kind of stand out within that and maybe that's one of the kind of societal conditioning aspects that's holding you back as well and then you have the salamander here so that has to do with that kind of fire energy passion moving forward um just kind of that excitement. So I do think that you are excited and passionate about whatever this is, but you're just holding back because of what will everyone else say? You know, I think there are a few people that you might be feeling held back by. This could be like a father or grandfather figure that's judging you um, based on this pipe, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but I just feel like don't hold yourself back just due to what other people will say or think because you are the only one who can determine what you want to do and what you're meant to do. So just keep that in mind. I hope this, this resonates for you, group three. I would love to hear if it does, so please leave me a comment below. If you enjoyed this reading, please like it and subscribe to my videos. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you can see when I've posted new content. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hi group four, so if you chose the spoon that says whole latte love, then this is your message. So we're going to start with your tarot and oracle and then do your dice and then your charms at the end. So let's figure out how you can get motivated to achieve your goals. For your tarot, you have the high priestess, nine of cups, and the sun. So... That's a lot of very, like, happy energy because the Nine of Cups is often, like, the wish fulfillment card. And then, obviously, the sun is success, confidence. And then what's interesting about this particular sun card is there's two people on it kind of looking like they're working together. So, um, that's, I'm kind of getting, like, there's a kind of duality here. So, either you're going to be working with someone or you're having to kind of unite two sides of yourself because even on the High Priestess, the two pillars, um are, you know, the black and white, so the light and dark. So I think you're needing to kind of delve in to your kind of subconscious side, introspect a bit, and kind of pull your authentic self out of that, because I feel like that's what you're wanting to do, is you're wanting to achieve something that makes you feel more at home with yourself, more authentic, happier, just overall, I feel like it's something that you just want to be unbelievably happy with what you're doing, who you are, all of that. But I'm going to get your oracle cards to see what all they have to say. So you have sundress, do it for you, number 41. So yeah, that's very much what I was just saying is um, doing things for yourself, you know, making yourself happy, not necessarily worrying about other people's opinions or societal expectations or anything like that. Just doing something for you. I feel like you're just wanting to feel fulfilled and just like your sense of purpose is fitting with what you've wanted. You have bat spirit, a rebirth is assured, number five. So maybe for a long time you've been doing things for other people and now you're ready to just honor your authentic self, live your truth, that whole thing. And you're ready to embark on that new part of you. I think you're ready to let the past stay in the past. You're ready to leave that behind. You're ready to end some things and move into a rebirth period. Um, yeah. I feel like this rebirth is going to really just make you so much happier too. I think you're looking forward and you're seeing that sunshine. You're not feeling like it's going to be as dark as your past too. Because even the high priestess here, the black pillar is like kind of behind her and then the white pillar is moving forward. So I feel like you're moving out of the darkness and into the light. You have compassion. So, yeah, I feel like this is you being more compassionate towards yourself, maybe towards others as well, in that you're being maybe more honest with them and you're not trying to just appease people to keep the peace anymore. You're wanting to just be truthful, be honest, and do it in a compassionate way, but I think really you are focused on some self-compassion here. You have Wrecking Ball, number 46. So, yeah, that kind of goes with that rebirth card. I think you're needing to kind of destroy some of the things that aren't serving you anymore from your past. And I think you're excited about that because Wrecking Ball is making me feel like that kind of adrenaline rush, like almost like 
if you watch any of the kind of like home like rehab shows when they do the demolition everybody like hypes up it's exciting it's fun you know it's just kind of that like raw power kind of energy that's just a lot of fun to like destroy stuff that you're not using that doesn't work so I feel like that's kind of the energy that you're in is just you're ready to leave that behind and you're ready to just kind of see what happens when you when the dust clears afterwards you know you want to see that sunshine kind of coming in you know I feel like you're almost wanting to rip the roof off of whatever the situation is that you're in right now and you're ready to just let the sun's rays come in for your affirmators you have you actually got a bunch of affirmators but you have space this is your permission slip to free some space in your schedule and dial your brain buzz down to like an 8 versus 11. Making space can mean lots of things. Rest, daydreams, Colombian mud baths, but no matter your preferred space flavor, giving yourself a little more air will help make room for a fresher flow. Doing some light decluttering or scorched earth level purging, which is very much that wrecking ball energy, also works magic. Either way, it's time to take a beat, empty your mind, float in a puff of nothingness, and reset those artistic buttons. Just be sure not to track any Colombian mud in the house unless you're going to make some cool pottery out of it. So yeah, that's very much that wrecking ball energy, just making space, you know, decluttering. You know, I liked how it was saying that just kind of scorched earth level purging, because I feel like that's kind of what you want to do. You don't even want to just do a little bit of decluttering. You're like, get it out of here. I'm ready for a fresh start. I want that new energy. You're just feeling that clarity and like lightness afterwards. And I feel like you're just totally ready to leave the dark behind you and move into a lighter period. You also have only for me. I playfully, joyfully make things that are only for me to see, and remember you don't need an audience to enjoy making stuff. Is there an audience that'll watch me listen to my favorite song? No. Do I need to show people what a nap looks like in order to love taking a nap? Double no. So three cheers for the doing of the thing, which makes me three times more cheerful than not doing it at all. So yeah, just doing things for yourself. This is very much that sundress energy, like do it for you. It's just for you. You know, you want to do things just because it makes you happy or you just feel good doing it. You don't want to do it for the recognition or like the outward type of success. You just want to feel like you're living a life that excites you, that makes you feel happy to be alive. You have value. I am a valuable member of my team and I bring a unique component to this job. I will not accept any self-conscious doubts about whether or not I belong here, and all inner questions about my own worth must be submitted in writing, then subsequently burned in a tire fire. So, yeah, I feel like this is, again, just like that energy of being happy with who you are and seeing your own value, like just being okay with things just being for you and seeing your own uniqueness, honoring that, just living in that kind of truth. And you don't want to allow the self-consciousness to take over. And I think you're ready to just kind of burn up that self-consciousness. You're ready to let that go, let it be in the past for good. And then you have listening. I foster a heightened level of engaged listening in all my conversations, whether in person or over the phone. When I start to zone out or feel the urge to interrupt, I remind myself that it's better to tune in and listen, really listen, to what the other person is saying. Because without good, attentive listening, I won't be able to, shoot, what did they just ask me? So, yeah, I feel like you might be working with somebody else, because we do have that kind of, like, two people here this also might have to just do with listening to yourself, like listening to what your kind of intuition is telling you because that high priestess is very intuitive. Um, so I feel like you are just ready to just embark on a better period. And I think you maybe are balancing kind of how much you speak versus how much you listen. Maybe you've been in a period of just listening. Maybe you've been in a period of just speaking, just whatever you feel like people expected of you. And now you're kind of moving into a state of balance. But this really does tell me that I think we do have... For many of you, you're working with like a business partner or somebody else is helping you achieve this goal or you're like willing to kind of bounce ideas off of other people too as long as they still respect your uniqueness and don't just try to tell you what to do. Um, so you have Lemon Lime Dragon, which is union. So that's perfectly fitting with what I was just saying. So yeah, I think if anything, um, if this isn't like with another person, I think you need to unite kind of two aspects of yourself to get them on the same page and like move forward together because that gives me very like chariot energy in tarot. So yeah, just like getting everything on the same page and moving forward together. But otherwise, I think this just has to do with, for many of you, a partner in whatever this endeavor is. You want to figure out a way to 
come together to work towards a common goal. I think you both need to probably listen compassionately to each other and be willing to hear what the other one has to say. But I think that you are overall on the same page. But then when one of you like is a, like weaker in one way, the other person kind of makes up for it. So I think you do either have someone like this in your life already or that kind of person is coming in soon. To, so just kind of stay open to that. And then finally you have Vulture. So the Vulture for me is about like not wasting anything, you know, kind of the cleanup period as well. So um, as far as not wasting anything, I feel like that's kind of going with this only for me card. So just making sure you're working on things and doing things just for yourself. So even if something doesn't turn out, if a project doesn't come to completion, knowing that you learned from it or you got something out of it. So just recognizing that value that's there. And then also just that energy of clearing space, like the wrecking ball and the space card as well. The vulture is just talking about getting rid of what doesn't work anymore and um, just kind of clearing away the clutter and just the crap and, you know, anything that's just kind of taking up space where you don't need it to take up space anymore. So just, I think this is just about clearing out what doesn't work for you and just being in your authenticity entirely. So we are going to do your dice now. So we're using the action story cubes and I'm going to roll this 10 sided die to figure out how many cubes we're going to roll. So you got two. So two um, story cubes have a message for you. So I'm going to put the rest back. Whoops. Sorry guys, I dropped a few of the cubes on the floor so I had to bend down and get them, like pick them up so I didn't want everyone to have to listen to me like getting up and like, go find them. So um, so yeah, we've got two story cubes for you. So group four, how can you find the motivation to achieve your goals? Okay, so on the high priestess, we have this person who's kind of play acting with these two dolls. So I feel like this is just saying like, again, like maybe uniting two aspects of yourself or maybe your intuition is kind of telling you that you might need to work things out with somebody else or find someone to kind of work on things with you. So just kind of keep that in mind that maybe you're kind of trying to figure out how to ask someone to help you and you're kind of going through that in your head or you're trying to get kind of like two parts of your brain to talk to each other, something like that. And then we've got this person who's lifting this weight and really kind of straining to lift that. And since that's on Vulture, I feel like it is saying, let go of what you're trying to lift that doesn't serve you. You know, it's a heavy burden. You've been trying to do that for so long. So I think you are ready to just put that down and only lift what you really want to work for. You know, I think your effort will pay off if you do that. So we're going to get your charms now for some more information. And we are using the heart today to figure out what's in the heart of this situation. So that might be where you need to place your focus more or um, maybe where you have some more power over the situation. So group four, how can you find the motivation to achieve your goals? Okay. So in the heart, we have this golden heart. So that makes me think of like a heart of gold. So I feel like that's kind of bringing up that compassionate energy. And also maybe you have somebody in your life who's got that heart of gold who really wants the best for you and is willing to help you or get, let you like bounce ideas off of them, that kind of thing. But I feel like that's also talking about your authenticity, you know, just being in your authentic self and being just secure in that and happy with that. So that's very much what I think the energy is focusing on today. You have the starfish, so I feel like you might be healing from the past if you felt like you weren't being authentic or if you just feel like a lot of hurt has come up and that kind of led you to not being in this authentic energy that you've been, um, maybe you kind of gave up on being authentic for a while and now you're healing that and you're able to kind of integrate all those obstacles and like the pain that you've gone through from the past you can integrate your past into your current self so that you're not being kind of held down by it anymore um we have for the letters we have y u and p so that spells out yup but at first i was seeing the word up um so i feel like things are looking up but i'm also getting like a yup like a kind of slang um yes you know like it's a big yes but it's just kind of like very casual like yep you're gonna do it you know just a very confident um, not worried energy. So I feel like this is more confirmation that things are going to work out. You are going to kind of be living the life that feels right to you. 
um, yeah, you have the rainbow fish, so that's more authentic energy, like sharing your unique gifts with the world, making sure that you're not kind of hiding because you feel different from everyone else. You have the number 20 and you have 31, so those could be important dates, ages, um, just significant numbers for you. 20 is also the judgment card, so that's like a rebirth kind of energy, like um, renewal, you know, kind of coming into a new period where you've learned the lessons from the past and you're finally living more authentically. You're answering that call that's from your soul. You have the Ace of Pentacles, so that's starting a new endeavor, you know, a new project, new something related to finances, you know, but just that new project energy that you're excited about what it could grow into. You have this kind of wonky flower, which I always think of the phrase perfectly imperfect with that. So I feel like you are embracing your imperfections and you're seeing how that sets you apart from everyone else, that you're not just a carbon copy of people out there. You know, you're not just trying to follow what other people have done. You're setting yourself apart. You are embracing your own unique gifts. You also have the sword here, which I see as the Ace of Swords. So cutting through everything that doesn't serve you, getting clarity, being in your own personal power is really what's coming through. Um, and then you have the Salamander, which is very much fire energy. So passion and drive and motivation and, you know, just being passionate and excited about what life is going to bring you. You also have the French fries. So I feel like that's saying don't be afraid to indulge a little bit. Um, I think you kind of know what you need and sometimes you need like food for the soul and not just food that's like truly nurturing. So I feel like if you're ever, maybe in the past you beat yourself up if you like fell through on like a health goal or something like that and now you're like, you know what, I can indulge once in a while because I'm not maybe doing it all the time or I'm not craving it so much. And I feel like it's just kind of that balancing out energy and when you live a balanced life you're not craving what's bad for you as much because you do feel more balanced and you're allowing yourself that but you're not kind of limiting yourself so I feel like that is kind of that energy of not limiting yourself as well you have the dog so that makes me think of being excited about the future just like you know when dogs see you they just the tails are wagging and everything so I feel like um, this has to be this has to do with being excited about the future, excited about what's to come, and also maybe like somebody loyal, friendly, someone who's um, like some kind of companion for you who is going to help you with this or be kind of your partner in this endeavor. We have the turtle, so that has to do with kind of slow and steady progress and going with the flow. Um, we have the shell, so that has to do with kind of your emotional state and just delving into those deep emotions as well. The flip-flop says make sure that you're giving yourself a break and that you're not just constantly working, but that also makes me think that you're almost going to be in a vacation mindset even when working hard on whatever this is. You're still going to be having a lot of fun with it. It's just going to feel like when you're out on the beach and you just feel like nothing could go wrong, it's going to be that kind of energy. And you have the bird here that's bringing in communication. So I feel like communication might be coming in for you from somebody. It could be from this companion, whoever you might get to help you or work with you. You have the thimble, so I feel like you've been protecting yourself for a long time and you're ready to just kind of go without it. You're not wanting to kind of keep yourself shielded from everybody. You're ready to just jump in, like, you know, head first and, and embrace whatever comes. And then you have Bastet. So um, that's the Egyptian goddess, I believe, of fertility in the home. Um, I'm not positive because I'm not like a, an expert on all the goddesses and stuff, but that also always makes me think of just like the home and like kind of feminine energy and just growing something beautiful, but also solid and secure and something that just feels comfortable, but not in a boring way, just like comfortable and excited and happy, just that kind of happy home life energy, but projected onto any endeavor that you have. So I think that has to do also with being at home with yourself and who you are and what you want to achieve in your life. So group four, I hope that this resonates. I would love to hear if it does. So please leave me a comment below. If you enjoyed this, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope that you have an awesome rest of your day and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.